Okay, and this week's Miami Proud. Thank you, Dave. You're going to meet a Broward County teen whose passion for writing is helping other kids follow their dreams. CBS News Miami's Maribel Rodriguez shares Lila's story. There's so many great parts here that I can hear your voice. Like It sounds like a normal conversation between a teacher and student, but this is anything but. Did you ever think like, oh my God, what if this would have made it to a movie? 13 year old Lila, seventh grader at North Broward Prep, has always loved to write. Since I was really little, I loved to write little picture books. Um, and my teacher helped me at a different school at the time, but I was writing a picture book called The Adventures of Super Victor. And that's where it all began for Lila Draws, a picture book called Super Victor to now this, Carl's Side. My book is named Carl's Side. It's about an orphan who runs away from his uncle to go looking for his parents. Uh, he ends up in like a parallel fantasy type world uh, where he meets a lot of different magical creatures who help him along his journey. Some are good, some are bad. And her English teacher, Mr. Fishman, proudly helped her bring it to life. Kids are amazing that if they want to do something, they can do it. Uh, and Lila is the perfect example. She wanted to write. She wanted the story. She had to get the story out. And then, uh, you know, she had this book published. Lila has already sold hundreds of books and is donating all the proceeds to an organization close to her heart. I'm donating all the proceeds from my book to the Literacy Coalition. So far, we've raised about $1,000 for them. It makes me feel like I have a good opportunity to teach other kids like that you can also write a book no matter how old you are. And I want to inspire other young writers to do what they love. And this is not the last time we will hear about Lila. She's already working on other books aside from writing. She's also learning to play the violin, sing, and is taking acting lessons. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS News, Miami.